there's always this excitement when you come across a business idea that's not only profitable but it's also creative and fun with the latest research studies that showed the global handicraft market size growth reached 752.2 billion in 2022 and the market is expected to reach 1.296.6 billion by 2028 and this is a good news for most of us that are willing or are passionate about starting our homemade businesses for the diy lovers the one who start up their own businesses from home this might just be like the best opportunity to get started and in this video i'm going to share with you six small scale homemade businesses that you could start from home and start making money this business is presently booming on exit right now so these are coming bath essentials that fizzles and dissolves rapidly when you toss it into a bad water, thereby releasing oils and extracts that moisturize the skin and encourages relaxation. As more consumers discover the therapeutic benefits of these bath bombs, the calming effect, the US bath bombs market alone is growing fast and set to hit 350 million market by 2025. So if you're kind of person that likes mixing different concussion to try things out and you like to start up a business in that direction, this is something that you might want to really look into. Before starting any business, just like every other businesses, it has its own pros and cons. So the good part of starting a bad bomb business is that bad bombs are a hot market right now, trending particularly among young people. It's also very cheap and easy to make. So the profit margins are really, really high. It also enables you to be creative, as you can see here on Etsy, you can mold it in different colors, you can mold it in different shapes. It just comes in different sizes and shape. Also, as it has its good side, it also has its downside. And few of the downside of this business is that before you start mixing homemade concussion to make a bad bomb, it's also very crucial that you brush up your skills, maybe through taking an online course to really know what you're getting into. The second downside is that there is a stiff competition because of the low barrier entry which means you have to compete with other brands that are already in the market so you just have to come up with your a game in terms of what kind of bath bombs you're making for who your branding and packaging and the third one is that depending on where you are you have to or you might need to comply with some legal regulated bodies your next question might be how much does it cost to start up a bath bomb business so according to step-by-step -step business research you will need from one thousand eight hundred dollars to probably four thousand dollars to set up this business and this cost might include your website if you don't want to sell on marketplaces like Etsy, amazon the bad bombs ingredients mixing bowls measuring cups airtight containers packaging materials etc and not also excluding business license permits insurance business cards and advertising so with all this breakdown how much can you really make annually from bad bombs i would say it all depends on whether you're going into this business full-time or you're doing it on a part-time basis it also depends on your cost of production and your sales price so as average price of a bath bomb is about eight dollars after your cost of ingredients and packaging and also advertising if your profit margin is still at 80 percent let's just say in your first year you could sell 300 p weeks and bring in about 122,400 dollars in annual revenue and this will be nearly a hundred thousand in profit if your margins are 80 percent and as your brand gain recognition and you get repeated customers and referrals so with your sales increase which means much more money homemade candle in particular feels like they have been crafted from the warmth of the heart so if you've always have that passion for candles, the design, the natural glow it gives the room, the feel and atmosphere, then starting your own homemade candle business could just be in the cards for you. Because according to market data forecast, the global candle market was valued at $7.562.83 million and is anticipated to increase to $10 million plus by 2028 with a growing CAGR of 5.26% in the next six years. 
so you could see that this is a million dollars industry market and it's not a bad idea if you want to get a share of this market working from the comfort of your home doing what you like and also showing your creative side but of course starting your own candle making business will take preparation and work and just like every other business it comes with its pros cons and challenges the good side of this business it's flexible you get to work from home set your own schedule in fact be your own boss the second good side is that you get to express your creativity if you look at Ecti, look at Ecti right here, you could see all different sizes and shapes of candles. So you get to display your creativity in molding different sizes of different shapes and sizes of candles. It also has a minimal startup cost. And with the low cost of production, the profit margin is also high. But just like every other business that has its own good side and the downside, because of its low barrier entry, there's a heavy competition which means you will need to, you will have to compete with other brands to push your product out there. After waging the pros and cons, you may be curious to know the candle making business's startup cost. So to get this business up and running in its modest capacity, the cost of starting your own small scale homemade candle business could range from a thousand dollars upwards. How much can you earn from a candle business? Well, due to the fact that candles can be made for a relatively low cost, and sold at a high margin from 30 percent all the way to 75 percent in net margin so the profit you can make from candle business depends on the level of production let's say for example if you're selling candle at ten dollar each and they cost you five dollars to make then you make five dollars for each sale and your gross profit margin is 50 percent the average candle makers earn between fifty thousand dollars per year with the top percent checking in at more than a hundred thousand dollars so this simply means that earning will depend on how many candles you're selling and at what price point you're selling them birthdays christmas easter valentine i mean the event that calls for greeting cards is nearly endless this is why just the u.s greeting card industry alone is worth more than four billion dollars so even if you're not a graphic designer or an artist but you have a creative eyes and a flair for words you could start your creating card business and bringing a bit more joy into people's life while also grabbing a share of that market and start any money and these are just few examples of creating card businesses doing very well on Etsy. here you can see thousands of sales from different sellers with lots of positive reviews and mind you, you can also decide not to sell in any of this marketplace thereby setting up your own website thereby setting up your own website and starting up this business so from the research i made you can easily start up this business with a minimal capital from home starting from two thousand to four thousand dollars depending on the cost of computer lesser printer design software papers and other material to make greeting cards which could be below or above previous mentioned number so the idea of starting a small scale business can be so exciting but also overwhelming at the same time but you also need to put into consideration that starting a greeting card business it's just like any other businesses it has its own pros and cons so looking into some of the pros of starting this business the first one is that you get to share your creativity by creating cards that will make some people happy it's quite flexible which means you get to work from home in your own time and space and also be your own boss it brings in good money because it has high profit margin so just like the pros in every business comes its cons and the first one is the saturated market so going into this business will mean that you have to compete with other big brands in the industry so you will really need to bring in your creativity game to be able to stand out estimated earning from a greeting card business depending if it's full-time business or you're doing it on the site and according to hallmark a whooping 145 million valentine's day card are exchanged every february 14th and according to zip recruiter small greeting card businesses make between fifty five thousand dollars and above per year according to research by fem statista as of 2022 80 percent of world's population or let's just say 6.5 billion people 
use mobile phones and that number is only increasing every day along with the average cost of a phone so as a result the smartphone accessories is booming with the protective cases leading the way so if you're creative and innovative with a touch of entrepreneurial spirit then starting your own custom phone case business could be your path to making money online and the good part about this business is that everybody has a phone that needs protecting it's also an uncomplicated business model it has high profit potentials which means good income but just like every good side in every business comes the downside and the first downside of this business is competition the second one is finding a good inexpensive manufacturer and the third one is choosing which phones to make cases for would it be for android or would it be for an iphone and from the few research the startup cost especially the phone case making kit can start from three thousand five hundred dollars so you may also wonder how much you can make from a phone case business starting from home well making a phone case can cost as little as two dollars while that case can then be sold at a retail price of fifteen dollars resulting in an approximately 85 percent profit margin so if you're a solopreneur you could work from home sell let's say ten thousand units in a year that will bring you 150,000 in annual revenue and with the 85 percent profit margin you'll be making about 127,500 in profit so the amount of money you make from this business would depend on how many units you make and sell either in a day in a week in a month or let's just say in a year essential oil has long been used for me medicinal purposes such as inflammation reduction deeper sleep and then the ability to kill bacterial and virus and these are made from the extract of many different plants and herbs and as many people become increasingly aware of the health benefits from this plant extract the u.s market alone for this essential oil is expanding rapidly and is also projected to exceed seven billion dollars by 2024 while the global market for this essential oil is expected to nearly double by 2028 you can also ride the wave of the train make some good money by selling them online and these days a lot of them can be found on Etsy, where you could also get inspiration to decide what type of essential oil to offer ranging from the most common ones that are tea tree oil rosemary oil lavender oil and other ones like mint oil orange oil etc and the advantages of starting your own small-scale essential business is that you get to be creative by designing and making your own unique oil you get to make good money because essential oils can sell for high prices you get to work from home set your own hours become your own boss you also get to promote wellness by providing essential oil benefits but the downside of starting this business is that in some countries it has strict regulation especially in the u.s where you might be required or you might need to get required license and permits and to also get started you may need to brush up on your skills by taking an online course you will also need a handful of items to successfully make and sell your essential oils including oil distiller bottles label packaging materials essential oil carrier oils fillers etc so the startup cost for starting this business according to step-by-step -step business could range from four thousand five hundred dollars well you may wonder how much money you can make from essential oil business so according to the article if a 15 ml bottle of essential oil sells for an average price of 15 dollars and your profit margin after making them is 50 percent so let's say in your first year you work from home and sell over 100 bottles in a week bringing in $78,000 in annual revenue so this will mean $39,000 in profit this is just an estimation but before you dive right in and start up this business it's always advisable to do your own research you can do almost anything with your yarn and hook from teapot cozies table clothes to work and clothing just take a look at etsy the demands for crochet goods and other handmade products remain high and still expect strong growth through 2028 
So you could see that hobbies don't just have to be just hobbies. With a bit of effort, they can become a profitable business. And with the skills to make this trending bags, pause, you can short turn it into a lucrative business. And the good part, you get to work from home, set your own time, be your own boss, work at your own space, create unique designs and items of your choice. And just like every other businesses, they conjure the huge competition. So you may ask, how much does it really cost to start a crochet business from home? Well, the startup cost could range from $2,000 to $5,000 to get needful items and tools to successfully launch a crochet business online. Whether you determine to sell on marketplaces like Amazon, Etsy, or you like to set up your own website and start building up from there. And also depending on the items you're making for sales and the market you use, it's estimated that crochet business owners makes between $45,000 to $50,000 in their first year, which also depends if their business is a full-time business, if they are doing it full-time or on a part-time basis. So guys, I hope this was helpful and if you like this video and would like me to make more videos like this, please leave your comments in the comment section below. I'll really appreciate that.